I'm going to go ahead with the meeting beginning ritual now. Qili. Nian Shao Tuo Tang. Chan Jia Shen Ju Gong, Yi Ju Gong, Zai Ju Gong, San Ju Gong. Chan Jia Go Wei Du Chuan Shi Ju Gong, Kai Ban Yi Ju Gong. Qing Tuo Xia. Please be seated. Q&A, about the yin and yang symbol, which direction does it rotate, clockwise or counterclockwise? What is the significance of the direction, and does it matter? Uh, and down below, I have a graphic here that seems to suggest that it should be clockwise. I have encountered Yi uh, Guan Dao, Dian Chuan Shi, who will very seriously say that, oh, it can only rotate in one way, it has to be clockwise. And what, why is that? Well, Clockwise is right. Clockwise is correct. Just look at all the clocks in the world. They're all rotating clockwise. And therefore, the yin and yang symbol has to go in that way, too. This is where I will uh, disagree with these, uh, uh, with these masters, whom I respect very much. But I'm going to give you my answer to this question. The short answer, the direction depends on which way you look at it. If it is clockwise from one side, it will be counterclockwise from the other side. That may be a little bit hard to visualize, so I will give you some help to try to visualize it. Um, so just keep in mind, if something is going clockwise like this from here, if I turn around, look at it from the other way, it's going to be counterclockwise. So the only significance, what is the significance, is that the yin and yang symbol, most of the time, it's, it's drawn as a static symbol, but the curving lines is a way to signify that it's constantly moving, it's constantly rotating. And the significance of that is that it, it, it's basically saying that is the way of existence, that's the way of reality. It's always changing. Time is always going forward. Uh, we're constantly changing. Everything is constantly changing. So that is a significance. It has to be, it, it certainly is rotating, but the way that it rotates, it depends on which way you look. So here's a fun little graphic that will drive the point home. Uh, and here, and by the way, next time I need to have a discussion about the Buddha with everybody. Uh, this is a graphic with the Maitreya Buddha riding uh, a bicycle. So. Suppose you are looking at the Maitreya Buddha riding the bicycle, and you know, let's say, let's start with the picture on the right. So the Buddha, the Maitreya Buddha is pedaling, and the bicycle is going forward. So you now know that the yin and yang symbol here is rotating clockwise. But that's because you are over here looking at the Maitreya Buddha going, going toward the right. But what if you are standing on the other side of the bicycle? you will see the Maitreya Buddha, the same Maitreya Buddha, going to the left. So as the Maitreya Buddha is going forward, the wheels are turning counterclockwise. But it's the same wheel, it's the same bicycle, it's the same Buddha. The only difference is where you happen to be standing. Does that make sense? So the Buddha is always going forward, uh, and the Buddha has to keep going forward because if the Buddha is not moving forward anymore, he is going to, as you know, on the bicycle, you will tip over one way or the other way. So it is by going forward that you can maintain the upright position to continue the forward momentum. So that, that chimes in quite well with the idea that it has to be always rotating. Uh, but, the, but whether it's clockwise or counterclockwise, well, that really depends on where you happen to be. So I don't, I don't usually like the answer, it depends. Uh, when I hear it depends, sometimes it's because people want to make things more complicated, to make themselves the expert that everybody has to turn to. But in this case, it really does depend on your perspective. So here's a slightly longer answer. Throughout history, some human beings have a tendency to separate distinguish and elevate one side while downplaying the other side. Which is better, left or right? Left-handed or right-handed? So I'm not just talking about 
Asian culture or Chinese culture anymore. I'm talking about humanity, all human beings, east or west. So here I'm actually pulling in some Latin. Right, so in the English language, right is associated with being true, correct, and morally, morally good. In Chinese, by the way, right, yo, yo so, does not have the connotation of being righteous or being morally good. It's the English word right happens to be this hand and it happens to be correct. It happens to also mean correct and it means it means good. You know, uh, did I do it right? Yes, you did it right. You did it cor correctly and you did it well. So when you say the right hand or the right hand man, you're describing someone who who you value, a, a valued helper, like a partner who is your right-hand man or perhaps a right-hand woman. In Latin, right is dexter. Right is dexter in Latin, left is sinister. So dexter, dextrous means skillful. So physically, you can be agile, you can move around very quickly, you can be dexterous, your hands can be very skillful, so it's a positive thing. The left is sinister. Well, Sinister means evil. So in Western culture, there's a long-standing history of elevating the right and lowering the left. Right is good, left is bad. Now, it's not actually backed up by anything substantial. It's backed up perhaps by the fact that most people are right-handed. So the Chinese themselves will say that the right is bad. The ancient Chinese, not modern Chinese. So the ancient, in, in ancient China, the idea was that the right has to do, the right hand has to do with violence and aggression because most people use their right hand to strike, to hit, to inflict pain and damage. So the right is bad. The left, in contrast, is a complement, and therefore the left is peaceful and the right is, is violent. Okay, ancient China. Uh, so that actually shows up in the Dao De Jing. So the the general that leads armies into battle stands on the right side of the emperor, and the general that is responsible for keeping peace in in peacetime, keeping order, civility, uh, law enforcement is on the left. That's why war, peace, war, peace. Now. That is based on the fact that majority of people are right-handed, but frankly, it's just a bias or personal preference, if you will. So, bottom line, if the rotation is clockwise from one side, it is definitely counterclockwise from the other side, and vice versa. If the rotation is counterclockwise from this side, definitely clockwise from over there. I leave you with one graphic to really depict this. This is the view from inside a clock tower. For people in the town outside the clock tower, everybody who's living over here in these buildings, when they look at the clock tower, they can depend on the clock tower with the hands going clockwise. They can absolutely count on it. For someone who works in the clock tower for maintenance, that same hand moving clockwise on the outside what appear to move counterclockwise on the inside. So in the Tao, it's actually important to always have the inside view. It's important to know what it looks like from the outside and the inside. When we say, um, could you give me your valuable insights? You are so wise or full of insights. Insights is the view from the inside. So it's important to not just see it the way everybody else sees it, but to see it as the people who know how it really works. Let's go ahead and do the meeting and the ritual, everybody. Qi Okay, everybody, we are done. Participate in the Tao meeting by joining us online. For information, go to Taoism.net forward slash Tao.